Mr Rennick. Ah, hi guys, how are you going? Uh, and I'll just uh, follow up on all those questions about emissions targets and everything like that. Uh, are those targets and those calculations used to um, calculate emissions, A, and offsets, B, given that we're going to net zero, are those calculations audited and is it possible to provide a, 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 a copy of how those calculations are actually performed? Because we're all just sitting here talking about emissions, but no one's actually looking at the detail. Senator Barney, um, I wonder, are you talking about the reports on emissions in the past or the projections for emissions in the future? No, I'm, I'm talking because about the actuals. Because so, so let's say, mm. for example, you know, we, we say, for example, we're 30 per cent, we've reduced emissions by 30 per cent since 2005 or whatever. What I want to, well, I'm, I'm happy to look at the modelling as well, because in theory that should be very close to the actual calculations. But what I want to know is, is when you're calculating these figures, uh, what assumptions you use or what, well, really they shouldn't be assumptions because they should be facts, but what actual calculations you use. So let's say Australia is 7.7 .7 million square kilometres. It's made up of X million kilometres, square kilometres of rainforest, um, mangroves, um, grasslands, croplands, Etc. Etc. Natural um, natural forest. Etc. Is there an actual documentation of how much per biodiversity area, biosphere, each acre or square kilometre actually absorbs carbon dioxide? And then, in terms of actually calculating our emissions, how do you actually go about calculating what CO2 emissions come from each sector? So whether it's mining, agriculture, consumption in cities, public transport in cities. Etc. Have you got a, a working? Because I did ask the CSIRO for this, and they gave me a heap of financial modelling. I'm not after the financial modelling. I'm actually after the, the, the raw calculations used mm -hmm. to calculate em emissions uh, produced by Australia, mm -hmm. and then the offsets, the natural offsets that we use. Sure. Uh, thank you, Senator. Um, you might be pleased to know we publish a very extensive report each year on Australia's greenhouse gas emissions. It's called our National Inventory Report. And I have read that. Uh, yeah. And that runs to many hundreds of pages and sets out in uh, quite, a, quite a lot of detail both the data sources and the methods and the resulting emissions for Australia's greenhouse gas emissions over the period since 1990. And so it produces a full-time series each time. Uh, and that, that's probably the best single source to go to the, the questions that you're asking. That includes extensive treatment of Australia's land sector, uh, which covers different land uses and land types, as you referred to, and it sets out both the, the kind of areas associated with different activities and the consequent uh, emissions and sequestration associated with those activities. Uh, we do all of that work in accordance with the rules of the UNFCCC, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, including the Paris Agreement uh, and guidance provided by the IPCC or the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Um, okay. yep. Thank you for that. So in terms of your emissions, does that include the offsets? So let's say we've got a square kilometre of rainforest. Do you, because I'm assuming rainforest would have a, you know, be absorbing mm. more than emitting more, do you have like a, this is what this particular area emits and then this is what it absorbs by, by area and so or size? It, it sets it out by land type and land, and, and land use activity uh, and it sets out areas and then we also present both uh, emissions and sequestration. We use the term sequestration rather yep. than offsets because sure. offsets yep. is kind yep. of a different concept, but uh, sequestration for different types of land use across the country. Um, I might just briefly address the, the question you had about audit and then see if my colleague wanted to add any specifics. But uh, Australia's greenhouse gas inventory is subject to independent rev uh, expert review each year as part of the UNFCCC. So uh, who does that? And so that's uh, UN experts, so inventory experts from other experts. countries yep, okay. come in yep. each year. Um, yeah, we do like to use experts for, for yep. these sorts of tasks. And so that's a, it, it's a part of the UN, of the UN climate change framework is that countries are obliged to report, but that's also subject to 
independent scrutiny so that we can all have confidence in each other's inventories okay. and learn from each other. Okay, thank you for that. So I'll, you can take this on notice. Can you please, in terms of that inventory report, can you re refer me to what page? It's broken out line by line. And could you also uh, indicate, so let's say it's a, whatever the measurement is, the scale is, so let's say it's a square kilometre of rainforest, how much CO2 that either absorbs or emits? So in terms of auditing, so I can take it to my, my so-called experts and say, do you agree with the idea that this rainforest only absorbs, say, five kilograms of CO2 per square kilometre? Do you know what I'm saying? So I want to actually audit myself independently from your experts, get my experts, because you know, often experts disagree, the actual calculations used in the amount of CO2 either emitted or absorbed by whatever scale or unit you're using. Is that possible? Is there anything under that? The only thing that I'd probably want to add is that there's also a, a website which has a lot of detail that you are able Love to... Love the detail. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah. Yeah. So as, as Ms Rowley said, uh, we report our emissions consistent with our Paris Agreement obligations, which requires us to report under different IPCC categories. And those categories have a range of information about emissions from different sources and also the sequestration and storage that occurs that is associated with those storages. So uh, the, that website is the Australian National Greenhouse Account website. Can you, take, can you website. down on notice for me? Is sure. That, yeah. But in the meantime, because yeah. uh, it does take a little while yeah, to sure. respond to some of these questions on, on notice, I'd refer you to the Australian National Greenhouse Accounts website yeah. uh, and, the, and the user can go through there and have a look at the uh, net emissions reported under those different categories. Uh, as Ms Rowley said, there is a range of information that's included in the National Inventory Report about the calculations that are used to put together our, our estimates. Uh, which, which you might also find uh, useful. In terms of being able to respond to your exact questions, we would have to have a, a, a detailed look through the inventory to see if we can pull that out for you. If you could, I'd appreciate it. Yep, that'd be great. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.